Hi everyone, thanks for coming back by my channel today. I hope that you're having a great day. I am very excited to be doing this video. I posted a bunch of pictures on Facebook last week asking you guys what celebrity look you would like me to recreate. There was four of them and I kind of figured it'd be Kylie, but I thought I'd get your opinion just in case. But it was Kylie, so Kylie Jenner is coming at you hot in this video. I'm really excited about it with the Kylie lip liner and lashes and eyebrows. She just has a lot going on with overemphasizing everything and that's kind of the Kylie look. I did this fun like faux bob that's kind of driving me crazy right now. But I hope that you get the message that this is Kylie. Um, if you would like to see how I got this look, please keep watching the video and please subscribe. Okay, so I have the photo of Kylie up on my phone right now, so if I see him on social, I'm just looking at homegirl Kylie to figure out what's next. Um, I'm going to be starting off with my L'Oreal True Match um, foundation in W3 as usual, but I am just crazy white right now and Kylie is fairly light skinned as well, so I'm going to be mixing in my Maybelline Fit Me Can Put me foundation in the shade one. So I have the two shades just sitting side by side on my hand and I'm just going to mix them together. Oh my god, that's a lot of foundation. <gasps> oh. Okay, wasty pants. Oh, I'm not <laughs> Wasting a lot. I'm just going in with my buffing brush by Real Techniques. I love this brush. It's awesome and so soft. I'm just going to be pressing it into the skin. Um, you totally could use a beauty blender or something similar to that, so I'm gonna like a damp sponge. Um, but because my Miley, <laughs> Kylie is so matte, um, I would prefer to use a brush because it will press the foundation into the skin more rather than the beauty blender, which will make it a bit of a lighter finish. So the next step is concealer, and I almost feel bad for saying this because I feel like I say it every single video, MAC go on with concealer, duh. Um, if you are looking for a concealer or want something to cover up dark circles under your eye or something that's not going to crease, honestly, pay the extra $5, $10 compared to the drugstore brand that you may be using. This stuff will change your life. I feel like every single time that I put it on a friend of mine when I do their makeup, they just like look in the mirror like, what is this? and go buy it. So you should go buy it. <laughs> I'm using the shade NW20 and Miley has a fair, Miley, why do I keep calling her Miley? Oh my God. It's eight o'clock in the morning right now, so bear with me. But Kylie has a fairly highlighted under eye area. So I'm going to be quite generous with my concealer, but I'm probably not gonna bring it back all the way to the hairline because she doesn't, get too crazy back there, it's more so focused in the front. And then I have a little bit of redness around my nose, so I always put this in there. And Kylie has a fairly highlighted bridge of her nose, so that's a lot. And we're going to conceal around the lips for later on for the fam famous Kylie lips. To prime our eyelids. This is so authentic. Using this concealer as an eyeshadow primer and base it is actually half of what it's meant to be doing. So if you're also looking for one of those, it's kind of like a two-in-one product. Now I'm just taking my damp beauty blender, which I need to wash, and blending everything together. Make sure you're doing patting motions and not swiping motions because then you're just going to be moving the concealer around rather than pushing it into the skin. There. And as I was saying before, we are going to go in and set it to mattify, mattify? Mattify our face, for sure. 
Now I'm going into the famous Kardashian contour. I'm going to be using Hula by Benefit. Any matte bronzer will do. I just really like the color of this with my skin tone. I think it's really nice. And I'm just using the Real Techniques contour brush. Kat has contoured in pretty normal areas, I guess, um, with a little bit more on her nose. But we're going to start on her cheeks. And again, just going from the top of our ear. Here, top of our ear and kind of creating a swooping line towards the inside corner of her mouth, but don't bring it to the mouth because you're gonna look crazy. So, we just start off lightly by making one back and forth. Now that we have that line, I'm going to kind of circular motions upwards to blend it out. And I'm also going to take that same hula bronzer and on the end of a fluffy brush and I'm going to just define it a little bit more. So with a little bit more product on my brush I'm going to do my temples and she has it more so on the sides than towards the inside of her forehead. So now moving on to the contour on her nose, she has quite a lot going on. She also has a wider nose than I do, but that's fine. So she doesn't have too much down towards the bottom, it's more so in this area. I'm being super light handed with this, if you do too much you're going to start looking like a cat, like in my Halloween tutorial. <laughs> On the end of the nose, that will just stop the nose creating a shadow, giving you a bit more of that button nose effect. Okay, so next is on to blush, and because Kylie's look is kind of a grungy 90s reminiscent look, um, she has her blush a little bit lower on her face. I'm going to be using the color New Clover by Clinique. It's a pair of little palettes so I'm going to that. But <laughs> this is the color. It's kind of a dusty rose. You want something that's a little bit more subdued and not a bright pink. So I'm just putting it not so much on like the tops of my apples and the cheeks, but a little bit lower and bringing it back. Next we're moving on to brows and Kylie is really well known for her very precise brows. Her arc goes up sooner than mine does, um, so I'm going to change mine a little bit but also don't want to look ridiculous and have them drawn here and not here, so we will do some minor alterations. Um, her arc goes up, if you look at where the pupil is on the eye, Hers is like just slightly over, and then mine slightly past that. So I'm gonna bring mine inwards a little bit. So build up the arc little by little, and then you'll get shape that you want. So now my cut brows are done. <laughs> um, they are not my usual shape so it's freaking me out but we will keep going. Now I'm going to start off my look with the shade Earthly Taupe by Maybelline. It is just basically your skin color in a shadow um, matte. And I'm just going to take a flat brush and pack it all over the eye. It's just going to be a great base for the rest of this matte look. Now I'm just taking the color Foxy from the Naked 2 palette on the same brush and this is going to be for the lid. Then I'm going to use my finger because I find that it packs on way more. And 
then moving on to the crease. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Tease, which I clearly like a lot. I've hit the pan. And with this nice crease brush by Real Techniques as well. And this color is awesome because it is a more cool tone, mauve brown. Um, you don't want to use a warm one. That's not really the look that she has going right now. So for her, she actually brings it in quite far. And again, start light-handed and darken it up as you go. That way you'll get as close to her look as possible. So now I've done both eyes. I'm just going to use a clean, fluffy brush. There's no product on this. I'm going to use that to blend out the edges just because we didn't use a lot of shadows on the upper part of the lid. We don't want it to be too choppy. So I'm just taking T's again on my lower lash line and really deepening it up and smoking it out. And then just connect it back to the shadow from your upper eye. So that's all the shadow done, let's move on to the eyeliner. And so for the eyeliner, I'm using my gel liner by Maybelline and a bent angled eyeliner brush. This is awesome because you can see what you're doing because of the bend in the brush while you're doing the liner. I think I just said that twice. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just doing a tight line against my lash line with the liner first. And then I just do the little short, small flick. Kylie does not have a large wing, but is definitely there. So you just want to create that little baseline and then work your way up from there to get the right shape and thickness like she does. So this is the finished liner. Like I was saying, it's super geometric and small. Um, it doesn't come in very far at all, but it's very fun and very Kylie. So we're gonna move on to lashes next, which are huge for her as well. It's kind of like brows, lash, lips that are just crazy for Kylie. So we're gonna go in with any mascara you want. I'm using the Smoky Extravagant by Makeup Forever in a little test tube because I'm cheap like that. But first I'm going to curl my lashes which is super important if you don't do this I totally suggest doing it it's going to open up your eye and make your eyes so much bigger just by doing this I pump it a bunch of times on my lashes to really get them to stay now for the fun part we're going to go in with lashes because there's no way that those are real lashes she either has eyelash extensions or I think she has individual ones. Um, I'm going in with these Sephora Demi ones. They're just the half lashes. These are my favorite lashes. I probably do wear these like once a week depending on what eye look I'm doing. They just give a little extra oomph to the eye and they're really fun, so why not? So maybe when I do eyelashes, I absolutely must use tweezers. It is so much more precise, I find. And then this is my glue. It's super gross right now. Uh, it's so embarrassing. So there's just a little brush applicator at the tip of it, and I just go like so. And then I just wave it around and wait for it to dry a little bit. The color of this glue will turn more of a blue color once it's getting tacky and dry. It's so much easier to stick them on when they're like that. So I now have both lashes on, it just makes your eyelashes so much more fluffy without being crazy. So, moving on to my favorite, favorite, favorite part is the lips. And the Miley lips is pretty... Miley! That's the third time in this video. If I say Miley one more time, this video is not going up. <laughs> so if you're watching this, the music didn't say it again. So we're gonna go in for the lips, and I have chosen a lip liner that's a little bit darker than what she normally goes for but I like it so much and I feel like it's almost a more winter version than the lip that she normally does. 
You can basically do her lip just by doing this shape, but with any lip liner. She just fills in her entire lip with a lip liner. Um, everyone has been saying that she uses Whirl from MAC. It's basically sold out everywhere. I'm going to go with the Revlon Colorstay lip liner in the shade Plum, I believe. Yes, Plum. So, it's fairly brown and dark and grungy just like her lip normally is. Um, goes with the whole vibe of the matte look by using a lip liner because there's no sheen to it. So for this lip, you just really have to exaggerate the natural lines of your lips. Kylie has very full, round lips and they don't really taper inwards, they taper upwards. So keep that in mind when drawing with your lip liner. Kylie Jenner. I'm really, really pumped about how it turned out. Like I said, I'm really happy that I filmed this video in the morning because now I can just wear this all day. I hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial and that you learned lots and maybe you'll rock a Kylie lip, brow, lash liner, whatever it may be very soon. Thanks so much for watching guys. It always means so much to read your comments and see that people are sharing my videos. It honestly just makes my day. Please hit subscribe down below and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye!